Did you ever feel like sort of compelled, like in your later years after you kind of created Wet Hot American Summer and all these different things in the state? And did you ever feel like compelled to be weird or quirky or off just so you, you almost like you couldn't really truly be you you were trying to be someone else as growing up does that make sense so yes it makes total sense a great question and the answer is not really it, it's usually the opposite it's usually i'm trying to do or or i'm in a place where i'm assigned to do something and i'm naturally looking to push it weirder and i have to stop that because it's not what we're doing you know right. like whether i'm directing a regular TV show or something, you know, and, and uh, we're, or we're struggling with a, stri a script moment. And I'm like, well, you know, if we were doing this, like in a vacuum, I would say, let's have him, you know, s s turn around and jump in a pool of water here or, so, or something weird. And, and, but I'm like, I know we can't do that. So let's, do, you know, <laughs> that always comes to you. Let's do the harder way. <laughs> right. Um, but no, I, l luckily, I don't think the, the, the demand for my brand is so, uh, actually uh, existent that people are like you've got to be weird and i and i feel pressure to be right uh, you know in any way more off than i am and i'm not that off i'm just like a dude <laughs> yeah you are a dude but do you ever think like some people might think i guess studios would think oh it's a risk because it's that certain brand and we don't know if that's gonna either hit or not hit. it's too much of a risk oh we want the something more mainstream and well you i i feel like i've consistently my whole career not gotten work because people are like oh he can only do that like he's his stuff is funny but it's too weird for us you know and and, and you're like no i i can do the other side i did role models i do i do see exactly and also i can i've done i've i've done the range of things over time and uh you know i can handle you know as a director it's sometimes been frustrated because i've i've done such a wide variety of styles and levels and and uh media and um as you said the brand can have um a double edge to it and people are like oh he's the guy who just does like really goofy dumb things and so we have this thing that we have real feeling about and it matters to us so there's no way he could handle that yeah and i'm like oh. do you just feel like you have to fight more these days for, for something you're passionate about or do you and you, you still obviously write your own stuff Yes, I do. I, I've always generated my own stuff, um, but I also do feel like, yeah, I, I think just the natural uh, progression and uh, getting older and I'm not in the, I'm not in that, I'm not young anymore and I'm a middle-aged white guy in Hollywood and I, I definitely have to, I feel like I have to work harder to get heard and that's fine. But you know, another cool thing is you think, you think looking at your resume and looking at the people who follow you, looking at the people who want to be in your movies, who, who are consistently cast in your movies, yeah. like the Paul Rudds yeah. like, and all these other names that you see, these big names, they obviously love you and love your mind and want to work with you. Yeah. So that should excite studios. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it should. 